How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode on the, the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we have the iPad in front of us as you can see right here. So this is going to be the topic of discussion. More specifically, what to do in case your iPad and the button on your iPad saying erase all content and settings is grayed out and simply not clickable. Now, the app or the, the way to get there is by opening up the settings, go to the general, and as you can see at the bottom, there is the transfer or reset iPad and erase all content and settings is an option which I can click on. When I click on that, it allows me to, to go through it and like definitely prepare it or like do whatever the iPad needs to do in order to erase all content. But for me, it is clickable. But the, the problem is when the uh, button is not clickable and this could be caused by an issue and that, that issue is common and it can result from incorrect settings or software glitches. But I'm going to show you a couple of different things to try out. Of course, the very first option, the very simplest one is of course, shut down your iPad, restart it. It can just prove to be a, like a very small, small glitch going on in the background. Nothing serious after restarting, it may actually work again. So of course the number one thing to do, but the next one is not reset the entire iPad by erasing it. But if you still click on the transfer or reset iPad, instead of clicking the erase all content, which is not clickable for you, tap on reset and reset all settings. When you reset all settings, everything's going to come back to the original state. So incorrect settings may be the causing the problem actually. So you can do that very easily and you can reset all settings to their initial state without using any data. So keep in mind when you do that, when you reset it, you're not erasing anything. You just get your iPad to the original state, which could allow you to do and erase all content. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. The next possibility for you would be to still stay in the settings because, of course, inside of the settings, you can only tweak the iOS or iPad OS in this case, but it means that you can only tweak the software side of things. So in case there is something wrong with the software, the first option which comes to my mind to do is to go to the general and see if there is any software update available. I understand that in case you want to reset your iPad, erase it right now. You don't want to go through the updating process, but in case you don't have the option to, I would recommend you to check out if there isn't any update available. You can see there is the iPad OS 16.7.1 or at the bottom, I also have iPad OS 17 in case I want to just jump to that version. So this is actually something I would recommend you to do. Just go with the latest version, which is going to tweak every single things. Uh, everything is going to be included depending on what it means, of course, but chances are that after going through all of the steps and through the process, when you then go to the reset settings, you're going to be able to actually click and use the erase button. Now, the next thing which might actually work is getting or like signing out of your iCloud. So in this case, what you can do is to literally stay in the settings, go to the top in the left section, and as you can see, you can get there to your name, your name or the profile icon within the settings is basically Apple ID slash iCloud section for you. And if you go in here, you can scroll through it through all of the devices, but at the bottom, you have the sign out button. So for that, in case you want to actually get or remove everything from the iPad, you of course want to sign out of the iCloud as well. So why not do it first? Try to see if you can actually skip the problem by signing out from the iCloud at first and then trying to erase all content and settings. Something may be caught up in the background within the iCloud server and your Apple ID and perhaps your iPad doesn't let you erase the entire thing. So perhaps just sign out at first and then try to see if anything has changed. But yeah, these are basically all the things which you can try out. That's everything what I wanted to tell you about. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful, but definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You don't want to miss the next videos and the next tutorials, which are going to teach you many important and different things about your iPad, iPhones and other devices. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.